been essential, and its skin a profitable result from such horrific effort. As any snake grows, it must shed its outer skin like an overtight suit. The new scales revealed are at their best. The cast-off skin is discarded, and with it also go most of the parasites that have attached themselves to the snake. The regular shedding of dead skin has special significance for rattlesnakes. Each time a rattlesnake slips out of its old skin, its rattle gains another section at the base. The rattle is a series of loose-fitting interlocking scales that, when shaken, produce a sound that warns large animals not to step on the snake. Although only a warning, the rattle has been the snake's downfall. Their noise makes them easy to locate, and as a result, tens of thousands are killed every year. I hate rattlesnakes. J.P. Jones sees rattlesnakes only as potential killers of people and livestock. He's hunted them since he was a boy. But recently, he's finding it harder to find them. He simply can't hear them, even with the listening apparatus he designed himself. There are rattlers around, but many are becoming quieter. Ruthless hunting is exterminating the loudest, and a greater proportion of snakes with weak rattles are living and breeding. Not having a loud warning, of course, makes a snake even more dangerous. But J.P. is undaunted, and his roundup goes on, presumably until only silent rattlesnakes survive in his part of Alabama. Getting rid of snakes anywhere is never the good idea it might seem. Farmers in Vietnam didn't value the many snakes that once lived in the paddy fields until they vanished. The snakes were trapped for food, and the rice crop was attacked by rats. A third of the country's crops was devastated by the rodents. Only the return of natural predators, such as pythons, could save the farmers' livelihoods. The government's official snake repatriator is Dr. Nagoyan. He's bringing snakes to the village where he was born. And he knows how important it is that children, as well as the farmers, realize how essential these harmless snakes are to their future. Each python released can potentially eat about 100 rats a year. Dr. Nagoyan will release 20 among them females that could each have 20 to 80 baby pythons a year. In the battle against rats, each snake in a paddy field is worth far more than those that are sold to be eaten. The snakes in our world can be partners in our survival. We're learning more about them all the time. But there's always a new twist. Well, sometimes when the uh, snake shed, it's not a complete shed, and uh, we have to help it. And in this case, the uh, top scale wasn't quite off, and I think I can get it. So now he's all done. A snake with two heads. Something went wrong in the egg. Such creatures are not uncommon. 
Only one head can feed, but this ring-necked snake will survive happily. It's very interesting how attached people get or not get to their reptilian pets. Most people think that how can you get attached to a snake or a lizard as compared to a fluffy kitten or a cat or dog. But in a way you really do get attached to these animals, partly because you soon realize how individual they are and how the personalities differ. By and large you do get very attached to your animals. I'm constantly surprised by snakes. They're fascinating animals. Just everything about them is so different to us. They smell using their tongues. They move without any legs. They're cold-blooded. They have no ears. And they're just so interesting. They're so different. There's so much to learn about them. Most of us might prefer to leave snakes to the experts. But love them or hate them, they're an important part of our natural world. As we shed our fears and learn more about them, we might find they're not such bad neighbors after all. To learn more about what you've seen on this nature program, visit PBS online at pbs.org or America Online, keyword PBS. Next time on Nature, turtles on land or underwater. They're ancient wanderers headed into an uncertain future. One of a four-part series, The Reptiles. The Reptiles' complete home video set is available for $39.95 plus shipping. To order, call one 800 three three six one nine one seven or write to the address on your screen I was bitten by a cobra and ended up in a respirator I stopped breathing <clears throat> I was bitten by a cobra and ended up in a respirator I stopped breathing <clears throat> I was bitten by a mamba in the leg a king cobra bite in the knee well my blood pressure went to zero I can really feel it you get this area here I mean, you can see how it's stopping the blood supply there. And uh, this is my arm, so I mean, I can handle it. Can, I can wrap it off me here. In a way, you really do get attached to these animals, partly because you soon realize how individual they are and how the personalities differ.
Oh shit! Oh. Hey, what the fuck, Craig? Oh, ouais, mais là, t'as tué ça? Ah, oh, ça va?
Yeah. <laughs>